Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Now, what I want to do today, how I want to help you out, is let you know if you should be interested in this. This is Astra. This is one of the latest games from Mind Clash Games, who I absolutely adore because they make my favorite game of all time, Anachrony. Now, this is very much not anachrony. Now, we did get to try a demo of this at Origins. That's all I've done. I have not opened my personal copy here. I did try a demo at Origins, and we did take home a review copy, which is what you see right here. So thank you, Mind Clash, for letting us take home this copy. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is cracking this open. This is not a rule teach. This isn't meant to explain the game in any way. I just want to show off the components to at least give you an idea of what you get in the box with Astra from Mind Clash Games. All right, here you have my copy of Astra. And I guess right away, there's just something about this box quality. It's, it's the super matte finish. I think I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna show off the edges here quickly. You can kind of hear things thumping around and the back of the box, which kind of shows you what you get, but we're gonna be opening it up. So we're not gonna to spend too much time there. All right, we are fighting to get it open. There we go. So we have a surprisingly thick rule book um, based on the demo I got. The game didn't seem that complicated, but I'm assuming there's probably, ah, okay. Clarification rules for all the cards. That makes more sense. So we're going to flip through this just kind of quickly to give you an idea of the quality here. Excellent component overview here. I dig it. Nice example showing the journal, the various cards, how to set up your player mat. There's a lot of white space here. Actually, it looks like a very well laid out rule book. I'm um, showing the different actions you can take and so on. I'm going to flip through this quickly because, again, this is not a teach just to give you an idea what the rule book looks like. And that's it. OK, so it's 18 pages with a lot of white space. And then a page, oh, it's a game in. Sorry, the final scoring as well. So then there's additional rules for playing two player. And then the appendix. So the appendix is, of course, a large chunk of this that is explaining what all the different constellations and everything do. Nice thick rule book. I dig it. Then we have just a bit of punch boards. Just a bit. It's a, it's a little twofold here. So there are two of these, and it's based on the player count. So you have for playing two player, three player, four player and five player um, for the number of cards that go out. And that's the first player marker. Then you have a bunch of telescopes which can be used to take an extra turn. Then we move on to the player boards, uh, which have a funky name, I forget. Now, what's kind of cool about this that I haven't seen in many games before, if I can get this open, this should open easily. It should there we go. Should be the kind of thing. Is these are dry erase ready? They're two sided for no reason that I can think of. I don't think there's a player count change, but these are the individual player boards everyone's going to get that are dry erase. And they have a spot to put your your coins and your your stardust or your stardust and your telescopes as well as tracking your knowledge level and your amount of stardust every turn, and then your points around the outside edge. Then we have this very nice high quality token to track which um, phase of the game it's in. So this kind of goes around this track this way. Again, this isn't a teach. I'm just trying to show off the components. Then we have dry erase markers in various colors, which are gonna be writing not only on the board, but the other big cool thing, dry erase cards. First of all, I'm gonna show off stardust, they are your pretty typical, you know, plastic crystals you can get at most hobby um, places, you know, Michaels and stuff like that. Nice color to them, though, and they do kind of glitter. I dig it. So this tracks your ability to write every time. Now I'm going to put all of this off to the side a bit here because that's not the fun stuff. Then to show off some of the cards. First, I am going to have to cut the shrink, though. So here we have the pack of cards opened up and you just have a bunch of constellations and different elements. And again, the cool thing about these is these are dry erase. So you can write right on the cards. And what you're going to be doing is tracing various patterns and crossing off what abilities you took. Again, not a teach. So just looking through, you're going to notice most of your standard um, actual star. What's the word? Constellations. Thank you. Actual constellations or some major, better known as the Big Dipper by some people. So these are all actual constellations showing what they do look like in the, the night sky. I don't know if the, the, the starting stars or the, the flare stars that are where some bonuses um, mean anything on here. 
But you have a ton of these. Like, look at them all. Each one of these gives a different ability. If you're the one to complete the constellation, they all give different prizes that's based on area majority. So that, that is quite the stack of constellations right there. Then we have summary cards that this is for the final scoring. You're going to give these out to the various players randomly. And this shows them they have a couple things already marked off, which adds just a little bit of asymmetry to the game. Not a ton, but a little bit of asymmetry. And finally, summary cards that goes through the turn sequence and the turn sequence for two. Oh, it's for different player counts. Okay. So a turn sequence for two players, for three to five players, and then a reminder on the game end. And this actually gets put like kind of in the middle of the deck like this. And that tells the game end when you get through that many cards. So there you have it. What you get in the box with Astra, a ton. Dry erase cards, dry erase markers to use on those, tokens to track your stardust, dry erase boards to write on, which also came in this nice resealable bag that I'm not going to bother keeping. And then some cardboard tokens. Sadly, no bag for the cardboard tokens, but you know what? I have plenty of baggies here. So you have cardboard tokens here and here. All fits back in the box. Inserts, serviceable. It's just a standard trough insert. Obviously made to keep everything safe during transport, more so than the store of the game. But really, I don't see how you'd need to break this up anymore. I do worry about the cards lying around a bit. I might toss those in a baggie. There you have everything you get with Astra from Mind Clash Games. Not a lot. No, no big surprises here. So again, we're looking at Astra from Mind Clash Games, one of my favorite companies because they make Anachrony. Now, for anyone who knows Anachrony who just watches this unboxing, you got to be like, wow, okay, that doesn't even look by it's from the same company. And it's true. It's This is a very different style of game. This plays two to five players with like a 20 minute per player playtime. So it's definitely no, you know, three hour epic experience. But it's also no light party game either. There's a lot going on in this game. And it's, uh, like I said, we tried to demo at Origins and obviously we enjoyed it or we wouldn't have brought a copy home. So when I do finally get Astra played, which I'm hoping for this Saturday, we're hosting a public play event out in Hammersburg, Ontario. I'm hoping to bring this out and get it played. I will be talking about it on our blog at tabletopbellhop.com and as well as on social media where you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop one word. So looking forward to that. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good day and game on.